Did you know that a baby hippopotamus or a calf can weigh between 50 to 120 pounds at birth? That's about the weight of a large dog. Imagine, right from the get-go, these hefty little creatures are already tipping the scales. It's an astonishing introduction to the world, isn't it? This is just a glimpse of the amazing journey that lies ahead in the life of a hippopotamus. Now that we've piqued your interest, let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of hippopotamus reproduction. The reproduction journey of the hippopotamus begins with the mating season. If you were to venture out into the wild of sub-Saharan Africa, you might notice that the hippopotamus's love season aligns with the driest part of the year. But why is that? Well, it's not just a hippo's preference for a warm, sun-soaked romance. There's a practical reason behind it, too. In the scorching heat, water sources become scarce, concentrating hippos into smaller areas. This makes it easier for males or bulls as they are also known to find and compete for females. The intense competition among the bulls is a spectacle in itself, with powerful displays of strength and dominance. But that's a story for another time. The dry season also provides a crucial advantage for the survival of the calves. You see, the gestation period of a hippo is about eight months. By timing their mating to coincide with the dry season, the arrival of the newborns aligns with the onset of the rainy season. The rainy season brings with it an abundance of fresh vegetation and water, the very lifeblood of the hippo's existence. The newborns are thus welcomed into a world brimming with the resources necessary for their survival. The timing couldn't be more perfect. Meanwhile, the mothers having expended a lot of energy during pregnancy and birth also benefit from the nutrient-rich environment. The plentiful supply of food helps them regain strength and produce milk for their offspring. However, it's not all rainbows and sunshine for these gigantic creatures, as the dry season also presents challenges. With limited water sources, the risk of disease and conflict among the hippos increases. It's a delicate balance, a dance with nature, where survival and procreation hang in the balance. So, you see, the dry season is more than just a backdrop for the hippo's mating season. It's a stage meticulously set by nature where life's most profound drama unfolds. A stage where the survival of the species is as important as the survival of the fittest. So, the dry season sets the stage for the hippopotamus courtship and mating. The courtship and mating rituals of the hippopotamus are quite unique. In the animal kingdom, many species display elaborate courtship rituals to attract a mate, and the hippopotamus is no exception. When a male hippo or bull is ready to mate, he begins by displaying his strength and dominance. This is often achieved through aggressive behaviors such as roaring, yawning to show off his large canines, and even splashing water with his tail. He does all this to send a clear message to other males that this is his territory and he's the one in charge. The females known as cows have a more passive role in this dance of attraction. They observe the male's display from a safe distance, carefully assessing his strength and suitability as a mate. The cow's response is typically subtle, often simply remaining close to the dominant bull, signaling her acceptance of him as a potential mate. Now, when it comes to the actual mating process, things get a bit more interesting. Unlike many other large mammals, hippos tend to mate in water. The buoyancy provided by the water supports the weight of the bulls, making the process easier for both parties involved. The bull approaches the cow carefully, often nudging her gently as a sign of his intentions. If the cow accepts, the mating process begins, taking place entirely underwater. This underwater love dance can last anywhere between 10 to 40 minutes. Once mating is complete, the pair will often stay close to each other for a few days before going their separate ways. The bull will then move on, seeking out other potential mates, while the cow will begin the long gestation period. These rituals ensure that the strongest males get to pass on their genes. It's a fascinating example of nature's way of ensuring the survival of the fittest, playing out in the world of the hippopotamus. After successful mating, the female hippopotamus goes through a long gestation period. This is no quick process. The expectant mother will carry her unborn calf for approximately eight months. That's a substantial investment of time, even by large mammal standards. And it's during this period that the mother hippo shows a remarkable level of patience and endurance. In the world of hippos, there are no baby showers, no nesting, no maternity clothes. Instead, the pregnant female continues her usual routine, grazing at night, wallowing in the water during the day, all while nurturing the life growing within her. 
This is a testament to the resilience and strength of these creatures. But the real spectacle begins when it's time for the baby hippo to make its grand entrance into the world. Unlike many mammals, hippos give birth in water, not on land. This is a unique adaptation that protects both the mother and the newborn calf from predators. Imagine, if you will, a baby hippo weighing anywhere between 50 to 100 pounds being born underwater. It's a sight that is both astonishing and humbling. And yet, the drama doesn't end there. The newborn calf faces its first challenge almost immediately after birth. It must swim to the surface to take its first breath. This isn't an easy task for a creature that has just been born, but the calf is naturally buoyant and instinctively knows to paddle upwards. Once it reaches the surface and takes that all-important first breath, the calf is not left to fend for itself, far from it. The mother hippo is a devoted parent. She stays close to her calf, protecting it, guiding it, teaching it the ways of the hippo world. This, then, is the incredible journey of a hippo from conception to birth. It's a journey that speaks to the tenacity, resilience, and sheer determination of these magnificent creatures. The birth of a hippopotamus calf is truly a remarkable event, and it's just the beginning of another life in the fascinating world of hippos. Once the calf is born, its journey is far from over. The world it steps into is full of challenges and potential dangers. But don't worry, our little one is not alone. The mother hippopotamus, a symbol of fierce love and protection, is always by its side. The bond between a mother hippo and her calf is one of the most powerful in the animal kingdom. From the moment of birth, the mother provides constant care, ensuring the safety of her offspring. She guards it from predators, often placing herself between the calf and any potential threats. Even in the seemingly peaceful waters, dangers lurk and the mother's vigilance never wanes. But life isn't all about survival. There's also a lot of learning to do. One of the first lessons for the calf is swimming. Yes, you heard that right. Despite living in water, hippos don't naturally know how to swim. It's a skill they learn over time. The mother guides her calf, teaching it to navigate the waters. It's a beautiful sight, seeing a hefty creature gently guiding her small offspring through the water. Feeding is another key lesson for the calf. Initially, the little one relies on the mother's milk, which it can even consume underwater, thanks to a handy skill of closing its ears and nostrils. Over time, the calf learns to graze on grass, following its mother's lead. As weeks turn into months, the calf starts to gain a degree of independence. It begins to venture a little farther away from its mother, exploring the world around it, but always under the watchful eyes of the mother. This gradual process is crucial for the calf's development, preparing it for the day it will have to fend for itself. The care provided by the mother hippopotamus ensures the survival and growth of the calf. It's a testament to the strength and dedication of motherhood in the wild, showcasing the incredible resilience of these magnificent creatures. So we've taken a journey through the fascinating process of hippopotamus reproduction. We've witnessed the extraordinary mating season, a time when males exhibit their dominance and females choose the strongest suitor. This is a period filled with grunts, splashes, and fierce battles, all part of the intriguing courtship rituals. We've delved into the intricate dance of courtship and mating, where the male's strength and endurance are put to the test. We've seen how these rituals are not just about physical prowess, but also about communication and connection, setting the stage for the next phase of the cycle. Then we moved on to the marvel that is gestation and birth. This period lasts for about eight months, a testament to the resilience of the female hippopotamus. Underwater births, a unique phenomenon in the animal kingdom, provide the newborns with a safe and nurturing environment to take their first breath. And finally, we've discovered the world of calf development and care. We've seen how fiercely protective mothers are and how they teach their young to navigate the complex waterways, preparing them for the challenges and adventures that lie ahead. That's the amazing cycle of life for the heavyweight of the animal kingdom, the hippopotamus. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the